Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Stews. And today, chums, we're back inside of No Man's Sky. And we're on the final part of the expedition. Yes, we are. I'll say the final part. We've got a lot of these research optional milestones that we can get on with once we've finished phase five. So, first of the phase five is the Fallen. Find a fragment from another reality. Okay, cool, yeah. well, let's um, let's go do that then, I guess. So find Lost Traveller. Specialist Polo may be able to assist. In space, summon the anomaly from the quick menu. Okay, so there's the quick menu. There's the anomaly. Let's go and speak to Polo. Polo is the little guy who looks like a turtle. Up by the guy that looks like he's straight out of Daft Punk. We'll be up there in a sec. Okay, chums, before we go out on this riveting adventure, I'm going to have a mouthful of my lovely own Captain's Brew. Yes, I've got my own brew of tea. You can find links in my links area on my channel. Anyway, let's speak to Polo. See, that's quite interesting. Leto, Ariadne, Helios and Artemis. You. So many names. So many friends. Yeah, so it seems to be that Leto was a traveller amongst all the others that we know there. All of those we know and love, I guess. So, stay, some, go. Some stay, some go. But you all drift through our home. But traveller friend, there are those of you that don't come back. Whose echoes we lost. Ominous, to say the least. Yeah, lose, yes. But time is wide and the universe is exciting. It isn't this game, I guess. What we lose, you may find, yes. Would you like to try? Yes, I would. Be careful, traveller friend. Outside our home, you're also hard to see. Your signals are there, but they are echoes. Where the lost ones are, when they are, if they are first, if they are last, first or last. The first and last travellers is starting to bear more relevance, isn't it, inside of all this lore. It really is. Okay, cool. Anyway, thank you very much. Sweet. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Specialist Polo was identified in a breach in reality. Reach the glitch in the universe boundaries to find the lost traveller. Return to your ship and leave the anomaly. Gladly, my friend. Let's go. Heck yes. Into infinity and beyond. That's uh, an air grab moment if there ever was one. Heck yes. And it's given us this giant explanation mark sort of icon on the screen and i'm hammering towards it at a couple of knots per hour or light years per second actually but yes we'll be there in a mo now this says approximate location so it's not going to be the exact location but as i'm coming down towards this exclamation mark i can see this green sort of mass up on the hill that doesn't look like it's part of the rest of the terrain so you know what i'm just going to nestle my ship amongst this and I hope that this might be where I've got to go there is a comms ball there that sorts of gives this away in fact there's a whole freaking army of comms balls land dang you ship okay there we go cool Whew. good luck friend hello from Kenshaw Georgia now someone has told me that they've built a base in this last rendezvous area when I get to the last rendezvous area I don't think I'm there quite yet anyway let's do a target sweep and they've actually marked it as for Captain Steve, and they want me to do a tour of it. You know, if I see it, I might, but you know, this is just a... This playlist is more just... Oh my god, there's loads of comms balls here, isn't there? Alright, well, I'm not too sure what i got to do at this point. Specialist Polo, Lost Traveller. Speak to the Traveller. Okay, I guess I've got to go inside this building and speak to the Traveller. If I can find the freaking door... These buildings, I run round them, and it's always the last side I look on. Look! See what I mean? I must have parked by the bloody door and just not seen it. Look! All the way round there. Okay, cool. Let's go on in, then. Hello! Anybody home? Oh, fudging heck. Well, I'm, I'm not seeing anyone in here. What, what, what traveller, then? Because these are going to be locked. Look, I can't unlock that. I bet, oh, okay. Maybe I've got to interact with this. Normally they put a marker on the dang thing, don't they? Sweet. Oh, okay. I don't think this is. I don't think this is what I should be doing, to be honest. Three, eight, seven, two. Oh god, it's too early in the morning for this. I don't really care. I'll go for that one. Oh, brilliant. Right, that worked. And right. 
it's still showing the freaking markers here. So I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. No idea whatsoever, but I don't think that was it. Alright. Well, that's not a freaking door! Oh my days. Are you a door? You're a locked door. I can't go in there, see? Alright, well, um, well, that's the end of that then. Out we go. Oh, what the flying fudge? Oh, there's a marker inside the building. I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to happen here, people. Bear with me one moment while I try and work this out. Okay, something a bit weird's happened here. I think it's actually moved me on to something that isn't in the expedition. I don't know, actually. Let's just hit this again. Let's make sure. Okay, it is. As the boundaries waken, glimpse for another reality of the fragmented. Follow the... Yeah, all right, fine. Um, and... Oh, there he is! You've... Oh my god, I thought he was part of the... But how did I miss that? Hello. Oh my days. I'm just standing there in the corner of the room. Oh, you little git. All right, cool. Hello, mate. Oh, fudging heck. Ask about the water. There we go. Yeah, you didn't drink it. There's a thing about this water. Hopefully, we're going to get some sort of end to this whole idea of the, the water and what's going on and... I hope, anyway. It, it's just very cryptic. It's very vague, everything that's going on, people. It really is. All right, how far have we got to go to get to this this grave? In 21 freaking minutes. Okay, right, where's my ship? There's my ship over there amongst all... Look, you can't even see my ship, thanks to comms balls. Look at them. I mean, I do like reading comms balls occasionally, but as you can see here, right, the messages aren't really even popping up properly anyway, because there's that many of them. It kind of feels a bit redundant, doesn't it? Okay. All right, anyway, let's spin this around then. Where's that grave gone? Oh, for fudge sake. Okay, there it is, around there. Ah, it's on a comms board. Of course it is. Yeah, there we are. 20 odd seconds. I'll see you when I get to the grave marker, people. And here we are. Oh, amongst a litany of comms balls. It's hopefully a grave marker. Let's, uh, let's, put, let's, let's raise it down here and... Well, hello there, everybody around the world. Welcome, welcome. Okay, here we are. Good luck, everyone. Cool, you. Okay. Right. Hello there, mate. Cool. Where do the Sentinels come from? I think they come from the Realm of Glass. And I think that the Realm of Glass are like a firewall in between our world and perhaps the Void. Which I think is some sort of virus that's trying to encroach in. Okay, so we've got one grit glyph. Okay, great. I wish I got the full glyph set in this uh, expedition. That would have been nice. Okay. Cool. Well, I've unlocked that then. What else? What's next then? So we've already done the 16 words. Let's just talk to aliens at trading posts or up in stations, etc, etc. Visit a blue star. After visit a blue star is discover one exotic creature. We're going to do the two at the same time. Normally in blue star systems, there's a very high chance of getting an exotic planet that has the exotic creature. I'll show you how you can increase your chances of getting an exotic planet in a blue system. So if we go to the galactic map, here we go. And you look for a blue star. So there's a blue star right there. Now you can see that it says water. Now, the exotic planets don't have water. So if you try to find a blue star that doesn't have water, like that one, that one does not have water. If I hit it, you can see there that it's got two planets and it's got four moons. One of those moons is highly likely to be an exotic moon with no water with an exotic planet. We'll go there. And we're off! Oh, we've arrived, Kated, and look at this. There is a freighter battle going on, and it's not just any old freighter battle. This is a pirate freighter. Let's see if we can take it out, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to target is the engines to stop this thing from getting away. And you have to go through the shields. I'm through the shields now. Here we go, and we take out the engines. Now, I've got really poor weaponry in this little ship right now. So if I can do this in this little ship, I'm fairly sure you can do this in your own ship. Let's just move us over. Even my guns have overheated. Look at that. Take that, you, you scatter. Okay, there we go. We've got the thing to say that the warp engine is disabled. It's not going anywhere. 
you notice I flew around this side of the actual freighter. That's because it's firing all of its cannons at that target over there. Again, you have to go through the shields and target each of these gun turrets. Slow your ship right down and just hover in place. If you've got rockets, use them. Take that, you, you scutter. You hunk of junk. Heck yes. Chicka boom. Take this, you. Hiya! Chicka boom. One more over here. Ah! I got stuck on the scenery, people. Dang my freaking wings. Yeah, okay. Zoom it round. That was a bit squiffy. Normally that won't happen, but there we go. Take this out as well. Die, cannon. And then there's one more all the way down here. Zoom. And as soon as you take this one out, it should surrender. Wow! I mean, it might take a little while to register that it's going to... Take that, you. Oh no, I've missed one cannon. Amongst all of that, I missed a, missed a cannon. Freaking have it! Now it's probably going to surrender. There we go. Now we should get asked to go aboard this. I can never find the freaking cockpit to these things straight away. It's quite far forwards on the actual deck. Look, there it is, there. It's not towards the back like a traditional dreadnought, well, freighter. Let's fly on in then. You saw there we just popped the blue expanse. So there we go. We'll check all the, we'll check all the actual um, planets in a moment. Okay, well let's land in here then. Let's jump on out. Yeah, I've seen lots of different people's guides on how to take these things out and what to expect with it. Now, I don't really want one of these freighters on my legacy save. If this was an S, if this is an S class, it's got, oh, it's an A class. Seriously makes me think about it, but at the same time, I love the freighter I've got, you know? And I don't know, if I accept this inside of this expedition save, I don't know whether that does anything. Oh. Uh, to my legacy save. Hello, right, mate. There you go. You're going to surrender, are you? Yes, he's a dreadnought. I don't think it's going to affect my... Um... Let's see, it's swapping it for my C-class one. So I might as well swap it for the C-class one inside of the expedition. But I can't take this with me. Yeah, go on then. Uh, um, no, it's fine. Okay, cool. We've now got that inside of this expedition save. Pretty lovely, huh? Okay, cool, yeah. Well, that's how you can get yourself a pirate dreadnought, just as a little side entity there. Okay, cool. Holy fudge! Look at that! There's an exotic ship in here. Hello, mate. You want to part with that? I'll have it. How much you want for it first, though? How much you want for that? Yes, please. I'll take that too. Oh, no, I won't. Ha <laughs> ha! But what a cool ship. Luck behind. I mean, look at that. Isn't that lovely? All right, anyway. I digress. Can't have it. It's not mine. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's fly now then. Very cool though. That was a lovely little exotic. It will be in this, this this system, people. So if you do want to look for that exotic, if you do like the look of that one, there's the coordinates in the bottom corner there. Pretty nice, huh? So yeah, if you want to go grab that exotic, be my guest. Okay, right. Also, I think if you get a pirate dreadnought spawn here, its boosted slots will be in the same place as the boosted slots on this one. Okay, right. Let's just pulse over here for a second. Let's have a look at a few planets, shall we? Okay. Murky planet, that's not what we're after. Gamma moon, that's not what we're after. There we go, what's this? No, nope, that's a cactus moon. Not what we're after again. Okay. What are you then? Cactus barren moon? Nope. Um, I'm not seeing the other moon. Ah, hold on. That was a moon. Solarium. We've got one more to look at, which is behind this, I think. Come on. I'm making a video on how to find these planets. It looks like I've, I've come up without any trump cards. Okay. You know what, though? In red systems, they're far more common. 
but uh, that that should be one over there. But now all these freighters have flown in, it's stopping me from doing my scanning of this planet. No, nope, I'm not interested. I don't want to buy anything. Leave me alone. Fudge off. Okay, just leave me alone. I'm trying to scan this last poxy planet. Okay, right. Here we go. What are you? Let me. S it's not letting me scan the dang thing. All right, there we go. What are you? There we go. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. Awesome. We did find it. My plan worked. I guess. Find a system without water in a blue system, and hopefully you're going to come across one of these sorts of planets here. It's going to have less on it, and it's not going to have one of the floral type plants to pick. You know, like um, star bulb or or the cactus or whatever. The fungal mold. It's not going to have a set biome per se. Okay. Right, so we're going to head on down here. And these planets only have one creature on. So if I jump on out of my ship now. Right now. Look around. Look around. It takes a little while for the creatures to spawn in. Just give it a second. There's one. Whoops, we're scanning a the plant there. We want to scan the creature. It'll have a little paw print. There you are. We got it. Chicka boom. Done, dilly and done. And that's how you find your exotic creature, peeps. It's uh, That one's a quite an easy one, that one. Done. I've got assorted glitches that are going to fill up our inventory. We don't really need them or want them. Okay, next one. View the final memory. Now, I know that I haven't got gold to create this thing. Ah, uh, is it that one? No, it's not that one. It's not flashing at me. This thing is doing my nutting. I'm just going to delete the dang thing. All right, there we go. Let's just, okay, so we haven't got enough gold, but I have got four gold. Uh, I can do something about that. I'm going to put this down. Go into here. Go into there. I don't think I've got anything that I can actually refine into gold on me. There are a few things that you can refine into gold. Uh, there's one thing that I could try there. We have got like a um, geode cluster somewhere inside of my inventory. Not that I'm probably ever going to find it. Uh, where are you? There it is. Sometimes that can give a little bit of gold into your old inventory. But no, nothing at the moment. Anyway, there we go. Let's head on over to the sun. Uh, boom. Right, gold. Where's the gold? Gold, 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 gold. Where are you, gold? There we are. We've already got four of it. Let's we'll stick it in there. Get this. I'll slap that on there. Check a pal. And one more. Check a pal. Pick them up. And that four gold should now turn into 12 gold. Right, if I just make a couple more um, metal platings, if I can. I don't think I've got enough storage to do what I'm hoping to do. Mainly because of all these things. I'm just going to delete them. I don't need them. Oh, why did it move me? Delete, delete. God. Make a couple more metal platings. And then I can put down more of those. So there we go. One. Go over to it. I'm putting my gold. Where are you, lovely gold? Chapow. Ah. Uh, one, two, should we have to put down another one now? Three and four. There we go. Right, so that's got me a whole load of gold now. Go back in again. One more time, and we should have enough gold then, people. So we've got 60 gold now. Put that in there. Boom. Chicka boom. Chicka boom. Chicka boom. Chicka boom. Four times six. Four to thirty six. Three hundred and sixty. I should have something like that, I think. Yeah, something like that. Right, okay. Uh, now I should be able to craft the dang thing. Let's, uh, let's see if we can. Oh, we only need 33. All right, fine. I went to town on that, didn't I? All right, well, let's uh, head on up into space then. Meow. Pow. Go into my exosuit. Scroll on down. And we'll hit this. Reveal memory. 
an impulse drive. Time for another little sip of my tea. Lovely. Oh my days. Talking to a giant space worm. You see, now I think these come from the void. I think this is part of like the virus, you know? We're seeing it in the abyss, inside of the water. And it says about drinking water. I think the virus is ebbing out into our waters first. And then in abandoned buildings. And then we get infested planets. And then we have these giant sort of worm things appearing in space and on planet surfaces. It's a worm virus that's spreading, people. Honestly think we're going to go up against this void. I think maybe the Void Mother, she's called the Void Mother because she's keeping the Void at bay, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll find out. Hopefully we'll find out anyway. Hopefully this doesn't just remain a text adventure. Hopefully it's going to be realised in physicality inside of space. I can only but hope. I mean, that's where all the lore is pointing. That's where all this is moving. It would be a little bit anticlimactic if they don't put something in around the realm of glass on the Void. Wouldn't it? Let's just, yeah, just put it out there. All right, no. All right, well, so we've got to go see the old Atlas. It's drawn a red line there. There we are. Boom. Um, all the way over here. zibbity doo da, zibbity day. I'm off to see the Atlas today. I guess we are. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, jumps. Well, I leap from my ship like a grizzel on heat. Yes, and here I am. Let's run on down then. Let me call you. Boom. You learn Atlas words by popping these little bubbles. Boom. I've know all the Atlas words in my legacy save. Now, I am thinking about doing a full-on PC playthrough and do the Atlas pass all over again. But of course, to do the Atlas pass and for it to make sense, you need to know all the Atlas words. And I don't fancy learning all the Atlas words again. It's a freaking trek and a half to learn all the words. You have to go to loads of monoliths and tread on all these little balloons. and Ah, oh, it's freaking boring. Uh, they need to have a way of adding in all the words a lot quicker it's the lore is one of the best things in this game and then they they make it so hard to learn the blasted stuff anyway here we go let's chat him up then so yeah it's talking about leto again and all those sort of shenanigans memories of this lost traveler leto go yeah the atlas is silent in the face of my demand the bloody bloody blah, 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 blah here we go let's just and pop through this. I kind of found all this sort of text very anticlimactic for the last phase. I'm not going to lie. I honestly thought something weird was going to happen. I'd imagined all this going re all purple and crazy and like maybe a void, uh, maybe a face even appearing in this orb, or like a woman's face, and a void mother appearing inside of there, like you know, looking behind the curtain in freaking Wizard of the Oz or something. You know, I expected all sorts of magic shenanigans to happen. Might as well delete them. I'm not overly fussed about anything in this save at this sort of stage. Okay, there we are. And, yeah, we'll have that. You know all these little um, orbs that we've created? These little things. You can reveal the memory any time you want. I'm thinking about transferring those over to my actual legacy save. And then using them outside of the expedition just to see what happens. Ooh, very Doctor Who-esque, yeah. Okay, well let's uh, let's pop that badge then. We've got it now. And uh, we're gonna go to Rendezvous 5. Heck yes. Alright, well it's just a galactic map. Lock onto the actual expedition area that it points out, and away we go. I'll see you in the galactic map. Okay, here we go, chums. This is probably gonna be our last jump. Over to the last rendezvous. And we're on our way. Right oh. Rendezvous 5, arrive in 4 hours. Let's see if we can cut that time down drastically. Oh, great. Encounter a load of freaking ships. I'll tell you what, people. You, you know how to get to a planet. I will show you the rendezvous point. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, so somebody told me that they've built a base right by this last rendezvous point, and it's by a portal. And the actual base itself is named Captain Steve something or other. So I should spot it if it is about here. So I'm seeing lots of bases. The only trouble is if you build a base by a portal, usually they don't render in. By the law of averages, they don't. They don't render in. 
So, but I'm not actually seeing many comms balls around here, and I'm not seeing many bases around here. I mean, that's four hours away. All right, well, we're just going to put it down here. I'm going to land on this little base over here and see if that's it. I mean, if it is, that's um, rather small. I wouldn't have thought this is it. But anyway, I did look to see if I can spot the base. I couldn't see anything from up in air. Well, there we are. Bowitz Prime. I found a base, but it's not. I wouldn't imagine it's it anyway. Right. I've got to go 900 views this way on an extreme sentinel planet, have I? All right. Um, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that down. Oh, great. Yeah. No build permissions. Freaking awesome. Thank you very much, base makers. Okay. Um, yeah. I could have done with that freaking... That, that lovely exo mech. Right, okay, let's go this way by a couple of hundred views. And let's hope that we're outside the base confines once we get, say, here. There's probably another base sandwiched up to this base, though, isn't there? There we go, let's try now. No edit permissions, no edit permissions. Come on! There we go. I knew it would be somewhere around here. Let me in. And away we go, Sentinel Mac. Move, damn you! Pow! The only thing is, you can't use your sweep scanner. But look, it's now given me an icon anyway. At least in this I'm not going to feel any of the weather effects. And the sentinels, for whatever reason, ignore me. So, yeah, there's that. A little tip for you guys, people. These things are freaking good for traversing the ocean as well. You see how fast it goes? It moves at the same speed in water. Yeah, no drag whatsoever. Huh? Why the fudge is that there? What? Ah, oh, that's an approximate location. Great. I'm going to have to get out. There's a sentinel right there. I'm going to get away from the sentinel before we get out. And we're going to use our sweep scanner. Oh, great. Actually, it looks like the sentinel has taken interest in my exo mech. Right, let's jump out. 142 used this way. All right. Let's lock onto that knowledge stone. Let's hope that that's it. Let's go that way. Go on, mate. Aha, here we go. So, yeah, he said that he built the base right here. I'm not seeing a base right here, my friend. Um, let's have a look at the base markers. Yeah, I'm not going to overly... I'm not going to overly worry too much about finding your base, my friend, to be fair. There we go. We medicated it. Boom. Zinky Bros base. I can't remember the actual name that I was supposed to be looking for. There we go. Lovely. We got that then. Right, expedition. And pop the badge. chick pow uh, Uh-oh. We've got sentinels incoming. Leave me alone. Fudge off, mate. Leave me alone. You gonna you gonna you gonna try it? I'm in a freaking mech. Yeah, fudge you. I'm trying to call in my ship. Leave me the fudge alone, mate. All right, so they are attacking me, I think. Right, well, I claimed this ship, didn't I? Yeah, done that. Final phase. Let's just ignore them for a second. Let's do all this. Claim that. Compare. Claim free ship. I guess. Bring it in. Come on. New starship. Is it coming in or what? All right. Can't summon ship in combat. Of course not. Fudge in heck. Great fun. Alright. Come on, XO Mech. We've got places to go. People to see. Let's go. Get me out of here, Mech. 
You know what? Oh, actually, I don't, I don't know whether I'm going to have all the resources to do this. Run! Like the wind. We're going to jump through a freaking portal, mate. That's what we're going to do. Let's do it. Yeah. Can we charge all this up? Let's see if we can. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. I don't think I'm going to have enough. I'm going to go for it. We're going for it, people. I don't know whether I've got all the, the cobalt. I wish I was just one button in the centre of this freaking ring to say fully charge. And it just sticks in whatever resources it fancies. Just to get off this sentinel weld. And then I can call in the ship that I just got. Yes. Go, go, go. Ha, sentinel scutters. Follow this. Ha, goodbye. Moonwalk out of here. Boom. I did that with style and finesse, didn't I? I've arrived, Decatur. I guess. In a sentinel free area. Brilliant. Right, now give me my poxy ship. Alright, there we go. I want to see this dang thing. There we go. Lovely. Here it comes. So all that triumphant music that I just had was ruined by freaking sentinels. The whole ship flying in majestically ruined by sentinels. You know what won't be ruined by sentinels? Me letting off a heck of a load of fireworks. Oh, you're having a laugh. Seriously, someone's got a base here, have they? All right, well, that scuppered that idea, didn't it? No, I was going to have a little triumphant ending of my own. Dang it! All okay, right, let's, uh, let's jump in this old ship then. And uh, let's fly somewhere on this planet where there isn't a base, eh? All right, now um, uh, I will let off my fireworks. Dang it, I will be a pyromaniac. Okay, um, in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look, oh, there's a freaking base there. Holy echelons of freaking Hades. Okay, here we go. Don't think there's a base here. Can anyone see a base? I can't see a base. Base to the face. Okay, here we go. Let's land here then. And let's, uh, let's let off my fireworks. Okay, letting off fireworks. Take two. Here we are. Yes, we can do it. I guess. Look at that. I guess. Thank you very much for watching, people in the view of us. Thank you. We do have, though, the optional milestones to do. I'm going to do an episode of me doing those uh, optional milestones. I don't know what we get for doing the optional milestones. We'll have a look in a second, shan't we? I guess. There we are. Kaboom. I know, that was freaking worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, right. So, phase one. Let's have a look. Optional milestone. And now, technically, we should be able to claim all these already. And the last phase is at 57%. Very unusual. Anyway, we've got our ship. Lovely jobs. So, yeah, technically, I won't be ending off this just yet, anyway. Because we are going to be doing all of those things. Now, you're probably thinking, Captain Steve, you just went through a freaking portal. You're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but I can just use the portal up in the actual space station and get myself back to phase one anyway. So, it's not a problem. Anyway, technically, we've completed the expedition. Um, no, let's just hope this has got a station in the system. Yes, it has. I'll fly over there. Right. Anyway, I should be ending this video off. And I should be thanking you guys, shouldn't I? Yeah. So I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody who has watched this playthrough. Now, oh great, it's a freaking abandoned station, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, it's still got a freaking teleporter in, that's okay. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this little playthrough of me doing this expedition. I do them pretty much every expedition. I try to keep them entertaining. I keep them informative. Hopefully you learn something. It's a bonus if you do, to be fair. You know, I never claim to be the best at No Man's Sky. I'm sort of like a jack of all traits. Don't really have a niche, per se. I like to speculate a lot and come up with ideas and things. But yeah, hopefully you found a reason to hit that subscribe button. Or the like button, at the very least. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you. Thank you for watching. 
And uh, hopefully you've got your Starborn Runner. Hopefully you've got all this gear as well, like I have. Which is pretty darn cool. And yeah, I will see you next time in whatever I'm doing. I have got a video going live later around... Uh, oh, actually, I don't know when you're going to watch this one. But yeah, I've been doing some Nightingale on my channel. I don't know whether it's going to be in the past or the future or now. But look on my channel for Nightingale. It's actually a procedurally generated game in a roundabout way. You open up portals like Stargate, the, the movie Stargate. You put like tarot cards into it. And depending on what tarot cards you put into the portal, it creates you a world on the opposite side. It's all Victorian garb. It looks, it looks sublime. And I'm playing it on PC. It's in early access. So what you see in early access, it's going to evolve from that. And hopefully it's going to come to consoles and all sorts. If that sounds like your thing, hit it up. It's, it's an interesting game. Interesting game, interesting idea. I think it's got potential. A bit like No Man's Sky did when No Man's Sky landed. And No Man's Sky has evolved into this. I think Nightingale has got the same sort of level of potential to evolve into something really special. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.